Hey everyone, I'm Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And welcome back to Expose, filming later at night. Quite less hot it's than It's much today. less hot. Much less. Welcome to Expose. <laughs> We want to thank you for coming back once again. I'm going to go over here, go on my laptop, check my tweets. Our friend Steve Cohen's two-hour special Magic Decoded aired last night, Thursday, on the History Channel. Within the special, Steve researched, explored, and recreated some of Magic's most legendary and closely guarded secrets, including the bullet catch. Listen to our exclusive roundtable discussion podcast that was recorded earlier in the week for the inside scoop. David Copperfield is profiled in this month's Vanity Fair, marking his 10th year with sold-out performances at the MGM Grand Las Vegas. The article highlights David's success, stating that his ticket sales have topped Madonna and Lady Gaga combined. That's a, that's a lot. Check out the teaser trailers for Darren Brown's new series, Apocalypse, coming soon. They're really weird, and they're really short. It's like five seconds of your day, but you'll be really weirded out. Also, see Justin Willman on this week's Ellen. We want to congratulate him on an awesome show. He did some amazing magic. Little less clothing at the end, but it was amazing. So there's that. So there's that. Hey guys, on The Wire this week we have four new releases, so we're going to start with the ones you care about, the free ones. Arnell Renegado has re-released his free effect Cyclops, which is now called Cyclops Reborn. Not a huge fan of the name, but the new applications that he has with the effect are actually really cool, and it looks like this. Another badass and free cardistry tutorial by R.A. Mendoza is up called Escape. It is flippy, spinny, and all kinds of awesome. So check it out. Moving over to the tricks that cost some Skrilla. I cannot read that line without dying a little bit inside. Tacked by Nathan Burton is an effect in which you take a handful of thumbtacks and you throw them in the air and you take a deck of cards and throw that at the thumbtacks while they're midair and then one card gets that was the selected card get, goes through a thumbtack and then that thumbtack sticks to the wall and sticks the card in the thumbtack to the wall and it's the, it's the card they selected. It looks like this. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the best trick to do for strangers, like street magic or table hopping magic, based on the fact that you have to throw a handful of thumbtacks in the air. Do not do this trick barefooted. And lastly, a three-pack of color changes by Jared Hansen called Above Ground. It looks like this. All these and so much more like Zach Mueller's latest release, Marbles, a challenging yet rewarding pop-out move with five applications and a bonus color change all for the price of $3.95 can be found on the wire. There's also a bunch of videos to check out in the media section, including a sneak peek at one of my new wire releases. Looks like this. You can check out that on the media section along with all of this past week's awesome videos. Also be sure to check out that Saturday Night Contest podcast with Steve Cohen. It's actually pretty interesting and it's a good listen for your young minds to consume information. Speaking of information being consumed by young minds, 
Good segue, Zach. Andre has an awesome interview with music video director Joseph Kahn at the end of this episode, so make sure to stay tuned. I know you guys like to skip Andre and Michael's part sometimes. I understand. But this week, you should, you should stay tuned. Andre, take it away. Hey guys, my name is Andre Jick and welcome back to this week's expose. So we have a lot to talk about this week. First things first, we have these awesome new steel uh, kind of business cards that uh, have your name, Theory 11 Elite member, the website, and Elite member since the date you joined. And it's basically 10,000 points. And with this 10,000 points, you get one of these membership cards. And they look awesome. They're great conversation starters. It's how our business cards look and they're awesome. You can cut people with them. No, you can't. But don't do that. Also on the list, we have the Players by Daniel Madison that we released with the kind of awesome uh, textured paper and the silver here and the marking system. And these cards are gonna sell out by the end of the weekend, so make sure to pick some up if you haven't already done so. Thirdly, we have on the list is Rick Lax Project that is coming out next Friday. It's entitled Filter and it's great. It's an amazing effect. It's been in the works for, I think over six months now, we've been going back and forth, perfecting it, refining it. It's a great trick, it's a worker, and I think real people are gonna use it. So uh, watch out for that. Lastly, I just came back from Baltimore, Maryland, where I was doing cardistry for a Maryland lottery. It was a commercial, uh, regional commercial. It was an amazing time, it meant the whole crew. It was a huge, huge uh, set. No, it wasn't, it was, it was all right. Had a trailer, had a makeup artist, had a whole bunch of uh, people working on the set. We shot on these uh, cameras called Epic at 5K and a bunch of different frame rates. It was unbelievable, it was a great, great experience. I got to sit down with Joseph Kahn, the director, who's actually been producing music videos for Hollywood for the past 20 years, working with uh, big music artists. And here's what he had to say to young people like myself. I'm here with the legendary Joseph Kahn. We just wrapped up our shoot. It's three in the morning, we're here in the hotel room, and uh, just here to ask Joseph what advice he has for young people. Well, uh, if I were younger, um, I'm thinking, and that's a long time ago, I would imagine what someone would tell me, and the thing I'd want to hear more, uh, most of uh, my experience, is a lesson about failure. Because I think when you're younger, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to be the most successful person possible. You know, it's a ton of pressure. Mm -hmm. And every time you don't necessarily achieve what you want, because you know, it's like you have so much pressure to, because you see other young people competing against you. Every time you fail, it just feels like you're taking such a big step back. I can tell you, I've learned more of my failure than my successes. Mm -hmm. In fact, every time you fail, it's a positive lesson on a certain level. Mm -hmm. On a certain level, um, the big thing about failure is that it teaches you things that that you will never learn from success. Every time I get successful, it might be because of luck. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, when I make a bad music video or a bad movie or, or a bad shot, then I know exactly why I messed up. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, and right. so it gives you this sort of obvious answer mm -hmm. that a success doesn't give you. Mm -hmm. Like on a certain level, make as many mistakes as you can and, um, and it may put you two steps back, but it'll learn how to take three steps forward. Right. Awesome. That extra step is what makes you successful. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't be afraid to fail. So fail, fail, fail. Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I fail upwards. Fail forward fast. There you go. Nice. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Michael, and the rest of the Theory 11 team, we hope you have an awesome the best weekend. weekend. Best weekend ever. ever. Sinister's pretty good as far as movie recommendations go. Okay, I don't know. Uh, I, I thought it was okay. Was Argo great. was great. Argo's fantastic. Seven Psychopaths, great, but did ninth I in the box office. Yeah, I want to see don't that. Don't understand one. that. Um, we'll see you next Friday.